Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip Tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at media privacy settings in Matrix. Or more specifically, we're going to see how to set the privacy of your off-market property photos and supplements. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same, and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so I'm gonna take for granted that you already know how to submit a brand new listing, or how to edit an existing one. But regardless of which, we're going to begin by first accessing the photo section. And from here, the intention is to set the photo visibility for when properties go off market. Now, there are two different modes that are available for your matrix system. The first is an optional mode. And this is where as an agent, you have the choice of selecting one property photo that should always remain publicly visible when the listing goes off market. Now the flip side to that is not selecting a photo at all. And by doing this, your off market listing will continue showing all of the photos. All right, so the second privacy mode is mandatory. And this is where the system requires you to set a permanent photo. In other words, if you're not able to deselect the icon, then your system's made one photo mandatory, and you no longer have the option of keeping all of your photos visible when the property goes off market. And by default, it's the primary image that's set to remain visible. But as you now know, you're able to change that to a different one. All right, so with my permanent photo selected, I'm going to save my settings, and now move on to configure the privacy for each of my supplements. And you'll notice that we have three visibility options. The first section is for supplements that I'd like to make visible to consumers on and off market in both their portal and third-party applications. Next is a private area that contains supplements that would only be visible to authorized users, typically within the matrix system. And finally, this third area is for supplements that should be visible to the public while the listing is on market, but should automatically be made private when it goes off. So for this example, I'm going to upload a floor plan, as well as to find some basic supplement details. I'm also going to set the security to private so it can only be viewed by authorized MLS users and not the general public. Next, I'm going to upload bylaws for this property. And initially, I'd like to make this public, but automatically have it move to private once the property has been taken off the market. Now on a side note, if an off-market property happens to go back on market again, then any supplements that initially transition to private will automatically transition back to conditionally public. And finally, before I save my settings, I've decided to quickly add some supplement details, as well as make the floor plan public. And again, this is so it remains visible even after the property has been taken off the market. All right, so just to recap, public supplements are supplements that will always be visible to the public, whether the property is on market or off. Private supplements are supplements that will only be visible to authorized MLS members while the property is on or off the market. And supplements that are conditional will be public while the property is on market, but private when it goes off. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care. <laughs>